so excited about this episode, Hans. Oh my God, I've been waiting, I think, for about two years for this episode. Finally, we get to acknowledge ponytails in conversation design, right? This is all about long ponytails. Long tail, long tail design. It's got nothing to do with ponytails. Long tail design. What, 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 so what, 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 So why did I, why did I grow up my hair for the last two years? You said we're gonna do an episode about ponytails. You got a ponytail, I got a ponytail. Look at this thing, man, it's beautiful. It's like long. Yeah, you've been, uh, you've been doing lots of things for which I have no explanation. Um, so long tail design is about making sure that the majority of the people, so 80%, go through about 20% of your conversational path. And the rest of the people, you want to hand over to other channels because before you know it, you're going to end up spending 80% of your resources on 20% of the exceptions. So think about it this way. If you're a restaurant and people want to make a reservation for four people at eight o'clock, they should be able to do that through a chatbot or a voice assistant. But if there are like 13 people and two of them are in a wheelchair and one of them has a nut allergy and two of them are vegan, they should probably just give us a call. And it's very tempting to design for all of those exceptions, but it's just not worth it. So make sure people have a handoff to a different channel and focus on the majority of people going through those few conversational paths. It's got nothing to do with a ponytail. Nothing at all to do with like even just a regular tail? No. Um, I'm not getting haircut on. I'm gonna go just keep on growing this for the longer tail. <laughs>